Hey everyone, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, and today we're taking a look at an iron from a company who never releases anything unless there's a breakthrough in design or technology. That company is Mira Golf, and today we're taking a look at the Mira CB302. The 302 is largely influenced from the CB301 and the PI401, but what makes it different is they made some subtle changes to the sole to add to that forgiveness while still giving you that Miura penetrating ball flight and feel. So let's get into it. At the end of the video, what we'll do is we'll hit that 401, we'll hit this 301 and give you some of the data so you can kind of look at how it compares to this 302. The first thing I want to note is the offset difference. The 302 is much less offset versus that 301. I think it's one of the best differences. I think it's going to appeal to a lot more people. That offset can get a little touchy sometimes. And the other thing we note is this sole difference. So the 302 story is about the sole, fully forged, but you're going to get that mid-cavity back iron. So a lot more forgiving through the turf. So let's get into hitting some shots with this 302. We've got foresight here for the data, and let's go. How about it? So a couple of things to talk about right off the jump is the spin rates. Typically in this mid-cavity back iron, you're not gonna see spin rates in a spot that are the most playable. I think people misunderstand how important spin is. Mira obviously, even though these lofts are a little bit stronger than what you'll see in some of the other Mira irons, we're still getting a nice spin rate and that's, I'm sure, due to the design process, each iron having its own unique weighting and distribution in order to be optimized. Now we're warming up. That's a golf swing right there. Holy smokes, that felt amazing. There we go, 196 carry. I think that is like spot on where I want to see a six iron. Plenty of spin, plenty of apex. That is so good. This is just not something that you typically see in this iron either. It's a fully forged product that gives you the forgiveness. It's just obviously Oh my gosh. This might be the most played iron out of Mira. I think it is just checking boxes right now. That is incredible. So we saw what I think is one of the most important things out of an iron. I hit that one uh, about as good as I can hit it and we didn't see a massive jump in distance. So that one went 199. So a little bit further as you'd expect, I hit it a little bit more flush but that spin stays consistent. Still at that 5300 range. That's what you want to see in an iron. That's how you play better golf. This is going to be an iron I think that people can play all the way through, but it might be a nice combo set potential to put in those long irons. You're seeing more and more tour players put a little bit beefier products in those long irons, easier to get in the air. What did that last one launch? 14.4, so we're seeing some consistency here and we are hitting a six iron, so that's right on. Oh. This has to be one of the most, I don't even know what the word is. This is the, the favorite iron I think I've hit. This is like really awesome. I'm enjoying this to the max. This makes work fun. This is, this is what it's about. This is really cool. I don't know how many more I need to hit. I'm trying to give you some of the forgiveness aspect, but I think I've got myself so excited that we're kind of in that zone of just flushing it. So we've seen what it can do as far as like off the middle. A lot of irons perform really well off the middle, but one of the big stories with Muir is the workability, the penetrating ball flight. So let's see if we can kind of flight this one around a little bit because in this mid cavity back iron category, it's typically not something that a lot of players are looking to do. So let's see if we can flight one down a little bit, knock down this six iron, keep that spin up though. That is sick. That is absolutely insane. Shinye Mura, you're something else. Transitioning from CB302, the numbers were just perfect. Chef's kiss to Mura. Shinye, you are a master of your craft. 301 now, obviously an iron that's done very well for Mura. A little more offset than I like to see, but let's get some shots. I'm interested to see now that we have an understanding of the data from the 302, how this 301 compares. Okay, feels like a mirror iron, as expected. Interesting. So ball speed a little bit slower at 126. Carry 187, spin 5125, launch angle 13.8. So a little bit lower in launch, spin, 
in total distance than we saw out of 302. One more, let's get another shot. A little bit of a miss hit there. First miss hit of the day, we've been on a flushing campaign. Okay, so a little bit more speed than we saw. That was a groove low, so 128 ball speed, 191 carry and spin at 4,700. So spin was lower in this head. It might be just a confidence thing for me. I don't love seeing this much offset. It's hard for me to really feel like I'm gonna hit a solid golf shot. I feel like it's gonna go left immediately. That's just me, golfers, you know, we're crazy. But, you know, comparable, but right now 302 is just leaps and bounds better in the categories that matter. The spin, the launch, the speed, the carry, the consistency. What more do we need? Okay, can't hit it any better. That's it, see how this compares. It's just not as fast as 302. It's not going as far. The spin is a little bit lower and the launch is a little bit lower. So 4,900 spin, 14.2 launch, 189 carry. We're just not seeing the jump that we were seeing out of the 302s, but with that being said, it wasn't a bad jump. That jump that we saw was very consistent. So 302 winner right now. Next up, we're gonna try the 401. Obviously a multi-material design from the year, not something you typically see. Let's see how it compares. Okay, 401, better look to my eye, less offset than we saw in 301, so let's go. Solid, great launch. Okay, speed up again. So we saw speed there at 133. That was really what we were seeing out of the 302. Carry 199. I'm interested to see what this spin says. 52.25, launch angle 14.1. So very comparable, but keep in mind, this PI 401 is stronger in loft than we saw in the Mira CB302. It's a lot of numbers. Okay, let's get one more. Okay, I lied, that one was hit better than the last. That was really good. So, okay, 134 ball speed, carry 204, spin a little bit lower at 48.99. And that launch angle was, one moment, drum roll, 14.6. So a little bit faster, but keep in mind, a little bit stronger loft, depends what you're looking for. Wrapping things up here with the Mira CB302. It's been an absolute treat to hit this iron. You've got a fully forged mid cavity back iron. That's a weird sentence. I know a lot of people haven't heard that, but Trust me, you're gonna get the benefits of speed, forgiveness, but also that iconic mirror feel with those spin benefits to keep you playing consistent and hitting those numbers. So thank you all for the continued support. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's been a blast growing this channel and we're gonna keep doing so with some great exclusive content on the way. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again soon.